What up everybody and welcome back to King Creeps where we react to all things creepy and scary. It is your boy Angel here once again with another one about to react to another video. And that channel is Goose Pimples. Yes, we're popping pimples all day because we got, because we, anyways, that's disgusting. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, guys, listen, I'm about to react to another video. Listen, I'm excited. It's top 10 ghost videos. And this is something that, you know, a lot of people are into and I'm into it. So let's get together. Let's watch this video. Let's have a good time. Leave some popcorn, some snacks, some cake, some juicy juice or whatever you want to take in your body and uh yeah let's have a good time so guys if you can please remember to subscribe like share hit the notification bell, click on all so you can see all the videos we have and uh yeah let's enjoy this great amazing monday together so uh yeah let's get into this video all right you guys are ready i am ready this the thumbnail alone was creepy so let's let's see if it if it if it uh what's the word if it if <laughs> the expectations of the creepiness of the thumbnail uh 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 uh, reach the actual. This is this is just watch the video. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. What the heck? Number ten, the beast among us. While carrying out their duty, a border patrol team captured a woman who was allegedly believed to be involved in an organized criminal network. Hmm. But what they thought to be just business as usual turned out to be a lot darker than they could ever imagine. Let's see Take a true. look. He's gonna close the door. Stay right there. Before we move. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What the heck? Calm down. Back up. Back up. Get your foot back in there. Ma'am. What the heck is wrong with this lady? I don't understand what you're telling me. Did you say I would just I just want some sandwiches? Is that what you said? I could have told you said, I just want some sandwiches. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I a sandwich does sound good right now though. <laughs> Anyways, but that's that's that, that's mm -mm. I don't like that. No. Evil. Out of the blue, the arrested lady started screaming and wailing like someone in chains waiting to be exercised. Of course, some viewers jumped straight to the comments <laughs> section, claiming she was clearly possessed by a demon. But there's something in this clip that seems to invalidate that theory. What Did you that? hear what she said to the officers? She said, I don't understand what you're telling me. Man, we're going to have to tase you. You're not going to like that. I don't understand what you're telling me. It sounds a little sus, doesn't it? Could she be just... So it wasn't sandwiches. I was wrong. <laughs> uh, sandwiches. Trying to get away with it by pretending she doesn't understand the language, yet still saying those words in perfect English. Maybe she practiced that specific phrase for years. Or perhaps she really was possessed by a demon who never missed an English class. But a mental health disorder could also be the reason for mm. that behavior, right? You know the ones that Could are be. only triggered when confronted by officers. Even though she seemed perfectly fine while she was caught in the act, allegedly exploiting children. Still trying to figure this one out. But what do you think? I was evil. Really possessed by a demon? Maybe. Or really bad at trying to ghost the law? I don't know. Let us know your thoughts. <laughs> Coming down in our minds. Hey, hey, calm down. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. No, I want a sandwich. Hellish screams on a drone. While flying a drone of his phone attached to it for a closer look at a deep sea cave, this man from Ohio lost control of his devices and had to leave them underwater as there was no way he would risk his life jumping that high. Mm. But when he got home and listened to the last footage synced by his iPhone 11 Pro with the cloud, he found something that left him gasping. Here's what he captured. <laughs> It's not like screaming. And this is underwater. Like every other mid-air drone mishap, this drone- It could just be the sound of the water hitting the mic on the phone itself, causing it to sound like that. Or it could just be something very demonic. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. And crashed and landed in the water, but the attached iPhone started capturing some hellish screams and strange sounds down there. 
The first cry could have been him, annoyed for losing his devices, but the screams of torture that followed, peering through the cracks, sounded like something far more sinister. Or maybe it's just how drones sound when the strong water currents gush through them. Could be. So, who's up to donating a drone and iPhone for a quick experiment? Anyone? Number 8. Haunted Columbian Game J.J. Mm. Anthony, a Colombian security guard, frequently finds himself amidst a series of strange occurrences at his new workplace. But a few nights after he caught a gate moving on its own, something terrifying happened. Let's see something that is. so downright chilling, he's now starting to regret ever applying for this new job. <laughs> Take a look. That's usually me. That was a very clear camera. Or not, never mind. What are we looking for? While making his routine security check rounds to a popular condominium in Santa Marta City, JJ. So, in his mind, he's talking to somebody. Like, the guy in the video thinks he's talking to somebody, but the people watching him through the camera, to the footage, to ask him who he's talking to because there's nobody there. And he said he's talking to the lady from, I guess, House 105 or Apartment 105. And they're telling him that she died like 20 days ago. So he just realized he's not talking to nobody and runs off freaked out. So that's crazy. Like to think you're talking to somebody and there's a ghost. There's nobody there. That's mm -mm, evil. He was approached by someone who claimed to be one of the owners of that condominium, introducing herself to JJ well, and welcome. I should have just shut up and let him do his job. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. I got excited. I don't know. Coming him to his new post. However, his colleague, whose job is to monitor the CCTV, kept a watchful eye on that camera feed when he noticed JJ conversing with someone. But no one appeared on the CCTV footage. Perplexed, he called JJ, asking who the hell he was talking to when there was no one to be seen before him. That's when JJ Anthony told him who he was talking with, to which his colleague immediately replied in a terrified voice. But she passed away nearly 20 days ago. Of course, chill to his spine, JJ took to his heels. Even though this could be easily staged, his reaction seems pretty genuine, and so does his colleague's surprised voice on the phone. He just runs off. It's not like newspapers it's report not hard to run off. the death of every single condominium owner in Santa Marta, so we can't really verify if the story they're telling is true or not. But could JJ and his pal be so bored at work that they decided to put their acting skills to the test? Or is that condominium now a truly haunted place? Share your thoughts down below. Number 7. Apparition Caught on Camera The story behind this next clip is a little murky about where or when it happened. But this CCTV camera captured something much more bizarre than it first appears to be. Watch until the end. CCTV. The light's falling. What the heck? What the heck is that? What in the world? It looked like the light fell off or floated off. At first, we could easily what? assume it to just be a rain <laughs> slowly moving on the camera lens. But things become much harder to explain that's when it weird. started hopping across the street. You may even see what looks like wings as a stereotypical image of an angel, or maybe just someone having fun with their video editing software. Mm. But since we couldn't get another camera angle, it's hard to tell which is which. Could it be aliens even? Whatever it is, it definitely doesn't look normal to us. What about you? Number six, undeniable evidence. 
When the guys at the YouTube channel Parallax Paranormal investigated a supposedly haunted bar in Peoria, Illinois, they had no idea they were in for one of the most exciting, yet downright terrifying pieces of evidence ever captured. Watch, and then we'll analyze the evidence. Okay. Can you show yourself by the Room part in sync beeps when touched. Oh. <gasps> it's under the stall. Thank you. Can you reach up and touch that device on top of the sink? You can see the moving the right here in the bottom. Where is it? Just moved over to the sink. Oh my god. Yes! Ooh, yes! It's reaching up! Yes! Oh my god! Go, go, go! You yes, can do thank it. you! You can do it! Touch that antenna. You can do it. You can do it. Keep going. Come on, you, you can get... take you can take energy from our devices. <gasps> yes! That's crazy. They placed the REM pod in the bathroom of all. I think was, they're they're way too excited, but that is pretty cool though. <laughs> to see the thing moving and you see the figure and then actually touch it and the REM pod goes off, that's that's pretty interesting. Places, which apparently was the most active room that night. But the real shocker was seeing two paranormal tools validate each other when their SLS camera captured a stick figure touching the REM pod in real time. We could clearly see that the SLS camera movements matched his hand movement, proving the stick figure wasn't pre-recorded. Plus, the stick figure touched the REM pod at the exact same time as we saw it going off. <gasps> That said, we can confidently say this is one of the most believable pieces of paranormal activity we've ever seen. And to help you That's better understand what went on there, here's a breakdown of how REM pods work. Brilliantly explained by paranormal investigator Lenny Round. But here's what happens when you get close to it. Green light. About five inches off. Green light. Yellow light, blue light, Let's see if I can get just the blue one, hard to do, and then violet. You take things and you put near it with electromagnetic force in them, and, and they pop off, they do it, and you got hmm. electromagnetic. Now here's a cup of coffee. As you can see, REM pods can be a great way to capture energy and temperature changes around an area beyond the physical eye. Likewise, yeah, it has to be close to it the for guys it to from the YouTube channel Blue Line Paranormal also had some pretty chilling paranormal evidence with this device when investigating Woodlawn. Hey, we're leaving. Whoa. Wait, you're that's that? the REM pod in jail, though. Yeah, I hear that. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here we go. You can hear it. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. And nobody has walked through here or anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. And it hasn't been off. It's been sitting there. Yeah, it's been sitting there. It's been quiet all night. For a while, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we kind of stirred things up here a second ago. Ah, oh, God. All right, so it's still hurting. Back away from it. Back away. Wow. That's wild. Mm -hmm. It's going crazy. That's <clears throat> crazy. Yeah, that's what I just said. It's probably going to keep messing with it. Yeah. Look at that. That thing's grabbing a hold of it. He's pissed. <laughs> that's that's a grab. Yep. Wow, I've never seen that rim pod do that. Mm -hmm. Jeez. It's probably about to blow up. Like a police siren. Yeah. It's getting more intense. Frequency's going higher. The heck? 
Where's that? Where's that higher thermometer? What are you doing? It's draining it. Yeah, it's killing the battery, huh? It's, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Holy shit. Tapping its energy. That's crazy. And you checked the batteries before you. That's a brand new battery. Yeah. That's brand new. It was, yeah. it was doing it on purpose. Yep. It's trying to get us to leave. Look at that. It's still lighting up. It's just dead. Oh, dude. Yeah, my head is, my head is bumping. My head is bumping right now. Now it's back to normal. Look. No? It's dead. Despite their attempts to understand what was going on with their device, whichever entity or malfunction was at play here drained every single bit of battery left. But not every ghost is this outgoing. In another ghost investigation by the Seeking Spirits pod team, they encountered a more introverted paranormal entity. Record for just a minute and then we'll just listen back and see if we can talk to you. That was interesting. Could you tell us what your name is? If you don't want to tell us your name, that's okay. Just touch that REM pod again, that way I know you don't want to talk about your name. Because she said you don't like to tell people. Yeah. Yes. However, hmm. there is a way to modify the REM pod and make it go off on its own. You know, I've, I've done all the tricks in these videos and I've only learned through doing the entertainment stuff. This one definitely works. Right, as you can see, the REM pod, I've just switched on it. It works, it works fine. Uh, anything what goes near these, um, they do go off. So I'm gonna just turn this on. We'll turn that on right there. Now this is a walkie talkie. Now you guys don't see this in, in the paranormal videos because people will have them in the bags, they stash them in the coats. Uh, and that's why most of them stand there with their hands in the pockets. But if we turn this on now. Power on, bye. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the um, the button. Now you guys can see what's going on right there. The walkie-talkie has just triggered the uh, the rim pod. After watching what we consider some of the best REM pod moments we've ever seen, hmm. do you believe all this evidence to be substantial proof that REM pods effectively detect ghosts? Or are you still on the fence with this piece of ghost hunting equipment? Now knowing Please that, let us know makes your question stuff. In the comments. Yes! 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 Number five. When you see stuff like this, it makes you question now, like, is everything we've been watching real? Is it real? <laughs> the only way, only way to find out is to do it yourself, right? I guess. Ghost court. I'm not doing it. I know I'm smarter than that. I'm not gonna go do these things. You, you do it. You do it, and you let me know how it goes. CCTV. Here's a weird one for you. Okay. This spooky footage was sent to us via email by one of you guys who asked to remain anonymous. After finding this video on TikTok, they requested our opinion about it, since the nature of the footage left them with more questions than answers. So. Here it goes. Oh. That's, that's, that's there. Okay, so <laughs> our thoughts on this one you asked? That was While we want to believe it so badly, the fact is, if the camera were moving, it would be a lot harder to fake it than it is with static camera footage like this. And this one really seems computer generated to us, likely to be some cheeky software masking. But again, without being able to prove it, we can't say for a fact whether it's real or fake. Guess that's the beauty of the paranormal world after all, isn't it? Now it's your turn. What do you think about this one? Did someone mask himself while editing the footage? Or is that figure exactly how some ghosts can look like? Let us know. Number four. Interesting. What do you guys think? Of Jamaica Inn. Welcome to the Jamaica Inn, the ultimate destination for thrill seekers searching for spine tingling paranormal experiences. Built in 1750, this centuries old inn from Cornwall, UK, has a dark Jamaica history, Inn. including mysterious deaths, yeah, smugglers, man. and ghostly apparitions. Guests and staff alike have reported unexplainable encounters, like footsteps, ghostly shadows, and sightings of a little girl dressed in white. Mm. But wait, it gets even spookier. Their YouTube channel shared some CCTV footage with the public, and boy, is it interesting to say the least. Take a look. Doing dishes. 
she hears something, I'm guessing. And something flies off the top top right corner. Or mid right corner. trying to figure out where it came from. We can literally see the phone being pulled from the top, which under natural circumstances wouldn't be possible just by sliding on its own, since there's a hook to keep the phone in place. Also, the inn's reputation adds some True. credibility to the events, so it might be the case of a pesky poltergeist after all. But what do you- I don't know many people don't use phones like this nowadays, but yeah, to take it off the hook, you have to kind of like lift it up. It doesn't just slide off, so. Interesting. <laughs> Let us know. What do you think, guys? Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Twitter. Twitter. YT. Also, Twitter. don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification for all our new scary compilations. Number three. Chad the Poltergeist. Chad or Imagine Chad? Imagine going about your regular workout routines early in the morning, nearly done and looking forward to a shower before work. But instead of your peaceful abode, you lived in a very active haunted house. That's exactly what happens with this dude when his morning workout gets rudely disturbed by Casper the unfriendly ghost. <laughs> Take a look. Casper trying to get some, some lunges in. Random spot to work out. Is me that's like a very random spot to be working out? Out of all the space you have. Hello? Okay, the Apple incident could easily be caused by vibrations, whether by a truck outside or even him working out. But the way that door unlocked itself and opened right in front of him, with no one else there, sent a chill right down his spine. But it was only getting started. Take a look at the paranormal cocktail that followed. I don't believe it. Somebody could be off camera, turn it off. What is that sound? Hey. Hey, can you come can you come home? I'm losing my mind. Can you please come home? Fake. Okay. I'll tell you just get just get home and you'll see. Okay, thank you. Fake. I'm losing my mind, but let me finish my workout. It could be a smart light, you have an app on your phone. The TV goes off, the light flickers, and a ball appears out of nowhere, rolling along the floor. But it just happens to appear where the camera's not showing, so somebody could have just thrown it. I'm just saying. What sent him running for a new pair of shorts was random objects flying to the floor. If all of these events are part of a well-rehearsed, thought-out plan to gain internet fame, we need to give it to him for a great job. But if this is how he lives on a regular basis, poor dude, he must be dealing- I feel like 
you can believe it's real, but his acting or the way he's act, the way he's acting, doesn't sell it for me. It's too calm. I mean, like if if this happened to me, I wouldn't be that. Oh, oh. You know what I mean? It's like I don't know. This is maybe just me. But with a seriously uncanny spirit, <coughs> I don't trying it. to avoid paying the rent. But hey, what's your take on this one? Did you spot anything we've missed? Is it real or a really good fake? Let us know. Number two, Number Santa's two. fast helpers. Here's one we're having a tough time trying to explain. This CCTV camera caught some creepy ass figures running around at stupid o'clock. But what the hell are they? The heck? They look like Santa's reindeer entourage running late for Christmas deliveries. But when some jump over the fence like deserters and suddenly disintegrate into dust, things become a lot harder to explain. Ghostly horses? What the mythical heck? creatures? Transformers? What on earth are they? It's weird because when we know. slow it down, some look like they're running on two legs. Maybe the poor camera quality makes it look like animals, but it's really just a group of people, and two of them throw their jackets over the fence or something. Weird, isn't it? No, I don't think it's a jacket. Poltergeist activity in a five-star hotel. That was weird. As you'll soon find out, even the most luxurious of places have- Something about hotels with these rugs, these carpets look evil. <laughs> I don't know if it's because the movie The Shining, but yeah, these carpets freak me out. A fair share of poltergeist uh, activities. This CCTV footage, leaked by the staff of a five-star hotel, mm. revealed the unexplainable events that go on at night. Take a look. Let's see. It's the last one. You kind of see like a shadow figure. Yeah, here you go. See? Moved. Right to where the hand was at. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for something else to happen. Oh. Uh, sure. <laughs> These are all things that could be faked. I'm not saying it is fake, but. Just tie strings to all these things, some special facts, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. It could be real. Our take on these events? Mm. Well, firstly, they took place at a high-profile hotel, yet the original source didn't even reveal its name, which kind of makes a potential publicity stunt less plausible. And any staff member caught in such an act stands a chance of losing their job, so that seems somewhat unlikely too. Secondly, the cart starts rotating, which would be hard to accomplish by someone pulling a string. Something else that also gave us goose pimples when watching it is the fact it's recorded straight from the CCTV camera monitoring software, confirming it couldn't be doctored. But I guess we'll never know the truth for sure. Mm. Hey, here's a playlist full of creepy stuff called so guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. There's something that we call it the scarometer. We rate the videos from one to 10, one being horrible and 10 being so scary, we put my pants. And I'm gonna rate this and I hope you guys could comment down below. Let me know what you give it. We'll give you your honest opinion. I'm gonna give this one a four. Um, it had some interesting things, but most of it was like, eh, you know, it was, it was okay. It was okay. When it comes to the fear factor, you know? Um, it's all interesting, but when it comes to fear, it, I'm gonna give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four. Um, pretty interesting stuff. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you liked it, if you didn't, uh, I would love to know your, your opinion. So, guys, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here with us. If you can, please remember to subscribe, like, share, hit the notification button, and click on also because you see all the videos we post. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Pieces. Remember, if it's creepy scary, we'll watch it. <laughs> bye bye.